After a year on a year hiatus due to COVID-19, the annual Breezy Point Aviation Day is now back. A car show, a sense of community, food, and of course, planes will all be on display tomorrow. Chris Burns tells us in tonight's In Focus. We're having our annual Aviation Day. It's uh, our sixth annual, and it's uh, appreciation for aviation. We get youth involved with young eagles, and they can get their first plane ride with a certificate and the name of the airplane that they flew in. After the kids enjoy their luxury ride, they can sit back, enjoy the beautiful weather, and enjoy a multitude of events. We've got a lot of airplanes flying in, some static displays, a few flybys. Um, it's a community event. We're going to serve some brats, hot dogs, chips, pop and water. Because of COVID-19, there was no aviation days last year. But this year, especially because tomorrow's forecast calls for near 80 degree weather, everyone's excitement level is sky high. Last year was kind of a letdown for everybody. We've all been locked up for a year, so we're anxious to get out. Very excited. Yeah, I'm glad we were able to have it this year. And I think, um, I think the community is really looking forward to it. People are kind of looking to be out and about, and it is an outdoor activity. And so it's, you know, easy to social distance. Um, and I think we're going to have a good turnout. It's going to be a lot of fun. The aviation is really about bringing the community together and showcasing not only the skills of the pilots, but also their passion for flying. It's a pilot social. So it's, it's just a camaraderie with pilots from everywhere, and they all seem to know each other. That passion is then passed along to their kids. At age 14, Shelby is already training to be a pilot and has been in small planes since she was just a couple of months old. Just because my parents are so involved in it, so I've kind of grown up in it, and I just thought it would be fun, and I guess why not, because it's so e I have such easy access to it that I might as well, I guess. Reporting in Breezy Point, for tonight's In Focus, Chris Burns, Lakeland News. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.